YouTube new box cybernetic rebellion. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at him. Let's go. You would be led to believe this is all about Cyber Dragons, but actually Cyber Dragons is such a small part of this box. Instead, one of the big deck types, big, big deck types is Mer Males. Oh my Jesus. We are getting Abyss Tias, Diva, Lind, and Abyss Sphere. Let's talk about this deck. What do you have to know about Mermails? Number one, they were a top TCG deck throughout many formats of the TCG. Almost every single Mermail card has been released on the website. You could see that by typing Mermail. And we have all these cards all the way up to this. Below this, we don't have. So we have almost everything. Nuts. Let's look at the cards we have and what's the potential expense of the deck. Diva being an ultra rare, you're probably gonna want three. Teus, you're probably gonna want three. Ultra rare. Lind, you're probably gonna want three. Abyss Sphere, one to three. Now from other boxes, you gotta dig, you gotta dig deep. Pike, you'll potentially want three. Megalo, one to three. Marksman, one to three. Infantry, one to three. And the TCG, what was the banless history? Deep Sea Diva was limited to one. Teus was limited to one. And Gund was limited to one. Now let's talk about the boss monsters of Mermails. Megalo, not from the box, but to get a full picture of how Mermails work. To summon this, you discard two waters from your hand to the grave to trigger their effects. For example, if you discard marksman or infantry, marksman will destroy a face down, infantry will destroy a face up. You're gonna play many cards that trigger these two Atlantean effects. Also, when Gund is discarded, you could special summon a Mermail from the grave. There's gonna be the main three cards to discard, Gund, Infantry, and Marksman. One of those cards you are discarding, hopefully, to summon your Megalo from your hand. When this is summoned, you could search your deck for an Abyss card. We had no good Abyss card to search. We now have a good card to search, and that search is gonna be Abyss Sphere. Abyss Fear, a great trap. You flip it up, you special summon a Mermail from your deck, its effects are negated, and then it dies during your opponent's next end phase. If you summon this in your opponent's end phase, it will live on your turn. In your opponent's turn, it will be destroyed on the next end phase. It will destroy it, and while it's face up, you can't activate spells. It's okay, you probably won't play any spells in the deck anyway, so be careful with that. Now there's a combo th with Abyss Fear. Do not use it in their end phase. Use it before or their end phase to ensure that it dies in the end phase and the monster that summoned also dies with it. Why would you want to do that? For Abyss Lind. Abyss Lind, if destroyed by battle or card effects, will be special summoning a mermail from your deck. So what you do is your opponent says, I'm going to end my turn, and you say at the end of your main phase or end of your battle phase, I'm going to activate Abyss Sphere. So hopefully the auto toggle will automatically ask you that. I assume it will. Otherwise, people will have a lot of problems with this card and you will need your toggle on to use it correctly i have faith in konami though so you're going to summon abyss lind then they end their turn officially and then abyss lind will die due to abyss fear going to the grave and abyss lind could summon pike megalo or abyss lead so a megalo will just be 2400 Abyss lead is 2,700. Abyss pike, 1,600 attack on summon. Discard a water to add a level three water, and that could trigger your infantry marks or gunned to either special summon from the grave or destroy a face up card or destroy a face down card. You're usually gonna summon pike. Pike is gonna be the combo enabler with your lind, with your sphere, and then sphere is searched for by megalo. It's lit. Now, abyss lead. To summon abyss lead, you need to discard three water monsters you're not going to really do it that way. Instead, you're going to summon it off of Lind, or you're going to summon it off Abyss Gund. Abyss Gund, when discarded, special summon a Mermail from the grave. While it's on the field, you could tribute a Mermail to discard a card from your pawn's hand. Also, Megalo, while on the field, could tribute a Water to attack twice. So they both got this tribute monster effect while they're already on the field. Now, this leads into Abyss Teus. This card is nuts. 1,700 attack, 2,400 defense. Its stats are not that great on the field but its effect is great. On the field, ideally, you're exceed summoning, so in the future, pay attention to that, or you can Synchro Shokan, or, like we just said, with Abyss Lead, you could tribute the Teus to discard a card from your opponent, or with the Megalo, you could tribute off the Teus to attack twice. Now, what is Teus and what does it do? Discard one water to summon it. 
So Megalos 2, lead is 3, Tius is just discard 1. On summon after discarding, it will search for a level 4 or lower Mermail. You could use it with Beatdown, or you could use it with Synchro Shokan. Good cards to discard are going to be Marksman and Infantry. Search for a Pike, then summon Pike and discard another card. More consistent discarding equals Atlantean time. Marks on send, destroy a set, Infantry destroy a face up. Here's a quick combo. You have Tius and an Infantry. You discard Infantry to summon Tius. Infantry will destroy a face up. Teus will search for Pike, summon Pike, then Pike will discard Marksman, destroy a set, and Pike will also search for a level three. So your field is going to be a Teus and Pike on field, plus search a level three. Now that you have Teus on the field, it's weak. So we want to use it with Diva. Diva plus Abyss Teus equals a card like Vermilion Dragon Mech. Vermilion Dragon Mech, once returned, banish a tuner from the grave or hand, destroy any card on the field. So what does Diva do? Diva, a lot of people are concerned about this card, thinking it's going to break the game. I could tell you right now, it's not going to be that broken, but maybe in the future it will. It is a very good card. When normal summoned, this level two tuner will special summon one level three or lower sea serpent from your deck, including yourself. So you could go diva, summon diva, or you could diva, summon marksman. That's an instant level five sinker shokan. Instantly can make our mateys, instantly could make a magical android just like junk synchron. Could also summon infantry. Infantry while face up on the field allows you to perform an additional summon. So get ready for this combo. You're going to summon D.Va. You're going to special summon infantry. Then you're going to perform an additional summon to summon your marksman from your hand. Then that's a level seven synchro shokan. You can make black rose dragon wipe the field or you could make the brand new synchro gung near dragon of the ice barrier. Once per turn discard up to two cards destroy an equal amount on your opponent's side of the field. So if you don't want to wipe the whole field you summon a gung near discard more Atlanteans or uh, gunned and then destroy cards on the fields. Nice! Super rare. Aqua Spirit is another card you could potentially use with your D.Va. You banish a water to summon this. It is level four. So basically the combo is you banish a water to summon, then you normal summon D.Va. D.Va summons a level three. Two plus three plus four equals Mistworm. There was a much better level nine synchro in the TCG. That's okay. Mistworm for now. Abyss Dine, for example, is not so good right now. Some people used it in a top TCG CG deck, you add it with Pike, you special summon it, and then you could special summon a Mermail from the grave. With only three monster slots and no exceed summoning, just pay attention to future potential. Exceed summoning is coming in two to three months. So all of this is really relevant when we talk about exceed summoning very soon. Also, we have Whale. Whale with Abysteus. If you have a Whale or a Genix Undyne, by the way, Genix Undyne triggers all of the Atlanteans, so it's already comboed very well. Either or with your Abysteus equals sea stealth attack on the field and a whale on the field. Your Abysteus will search for a level four lower mermail. You summon or set it, tribute with whale, you win. Here are the four ways to play mermails. You could focus on Abyss Gun with big monsters plus beatdown. You could focus on Atlanteans. By the way, this would not be playing in the, the Atlanteans that destroy face down, face up. You would just focus on beatdown and big monsters. You could focus on the Atlanteans to destroy face up and face downs. You could focus on synchros with Diva, Vermilion, Dragon mech is very powerful at Teus, or you could focus on C stealth attack with whale. Let's very quickly, let's do some sample hands. Here is a sample deck you'll see right here. It's like a 50 card deck. It's got everything just to show you some sample plays. Let's just check it out. Play the deck with a hand like this. You could summon Pike, discard Marksman. Marksman would destroy a set card in the field. Pike will now search for a level three. You could search for another Marksman. So you shuffle up your deck and then you set your Abyss Sphere. Now it's our opponent's turn. Our opponent goes, destroys Pike, sets a back row card and ends. Before he ends, we're going to say, wait, Sir, at the end of your battle phase, I'm going to activate my sphere. Sphere, I'm going to special summon Lind, and then they're going to have to initiate ending their turn again. So when they say, okay, now I end my turn, I go, all right, now you're screwed. Abyss Sphere will de be destroyed in the end phase, which will destroy Lind. Lind will activate to special summon a Pike, another Pike. Pike on his end phase will discard Marksman, and we will search our deck for another Marksman. Why not? Shuffle up the deck, and that will trigger the effect of Marksman to destroy his newly set card. Perfect. Let's rip a card. Megalo. 
You have to reveal Megalo to activate it, discard two waters to summon it, discard Marksman, discard Gund. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna summon Megalo, and now Megalo, Gund, and Marksman will all activate. We're gonna destroy a set card. We're gonna special summon a Mermail from the grave. We could special summon Pike or Abyss Lind, and Megalo will be searching the deck for an Abyss Sphere. We already saw what Abyss Sphere could do. We got it again. And then we could use Megalo to tribute off any of our monsters to double attack with a beatdown, 27 100. Bam, bam! If you have to deal with a bigger monster, you could also swing in the Abyss Lind. You could suicide the Abyss Lind. When Abyss Lind dies, we could summon an Abyss Lead, 2700. And with Abyss Lead on the field, we could tribute off a Mermail to discard a random card from their hand. Now let's say we all got wiped out. We got wiped out! Now it's our opponent's turn. They do their thing. Now before the end of their battle phase, we're gonna flip up our other Abyss Sphere, summon an Abyss Lind onto the field. He's gonna end his turn. It's gonna destroy, destroy. And then, once again, we have an Abyss Lead on the field. Nice, that's a nice quick demonstration. Nice, let's do a new hand, shuffle. So the hand like this, we could discard Marksman, special summon Abyssius. Marksman will destroy a set card he controls. We will also search for a level four lower Mermail. We could search for uh, an Abyss Gund if we want. And then we could summon Diva. Diva, view the deck, can special summon anything. Marksman, infantry, another Diva. We'll go another Diva just because, why not? Then we could Synchro Shokan for Vermilion Dragon Mech. Vermilion Dragon Mech, banish the Diva destroy any card on the field. So now everything gets destroyed and it's our next turn. Draw. We could summon Pike, discard Abyss Gund, search our deck for a level three water. Hat cannot be level three or lower. It must be level three. We search that and then Abyss Gund activates, summons Ateus onto the field. I can't really do much with this, but I'm just showing you the plays. Just showing you the plays. That's the problem with Abyss Teus and, and Pike. You're probably gonna have many opportunities where they are on the field and not really doing anything. That's the little demonstration there. And then I'll show you one more demonstrated combo. So we'll new hand. Okay, this is our only hand. Summon Diva, view our deck, special summon infantry. Now with just like this, infantry allows us to perform an additional summon. We now have a marksman. We could now synchro Shokan for Gung Nier. All three of those Gung Nier to the field. Once per turn, discard up to two cards to the graveyard, destroy the same number your opponent controls. If you discard marksman, or infantry destroy four cards love it and that's the quick replays of mermails